Hey everyone, so in this tutorial you will learn how you can create this camera module here and why it might be so interesting for you because you see here this circular shape is perfectly and smoothly transitioning into this rectangular shape here with an absolute perfect transition into the corner of this rectangular shape here and just in general it looks like a very simple shape but it is 100% surface modeling so you will learn a ton of interesting things and by the way if you want to learn how to create this whole DJI Osmo Pocket 3 completely from scratch with absolute beautiful surface transitions all over and you want to learn intermediate surface modeling techniques then check out first link in the description I just launched my pocket action cam course where I will guide you step by step through the whole process and you will learn how you can perfectly prepare your surfaces curves and edges to create very smooth and beautiful surface transition with patches without x nerve so everyone can follow along so your zebra stripes looks just gorgeous and everything makes perfectly sense yeah also here I have a little 3D preview, so play around with that and check out the surface quality. So if that's something you're interested in, check out first link in the description and let's dive in into our tutorial. All right, so first of all, we need all the reference images from the front and the side. Also below this video, you can just instantly download them so you can follow along or just search on the internet. But I will start here with this image, just bring it to the middle, bring it to the back, press M, bring it to the front and make it opaque so we can see through and also lock it here so you are not selecting it in the viewport and first of all we just want to create this rounded outer shape here because all that sphere circular shapes behind it we will attach to this rectangular shape kind of and we also just need one quarter because yeah it's symmetrical so we can just uh, symmetry everything all over and just create a line and just follow here the outer ring for now and go till somewhere here and don't go to this point where the fillet starts give it a little bit of space so we can give it a g2 beautiful curvature so we can give here a g2 curvature so it just will look a little bit better and here at the bottom and here shift f or control point curve we need tangency just one point and then drag that out here and also just leave it a little bit of space and just adjust the points a little bit right so we have something like that and now just select those two points press l loft and you see you have very beautiful g2 connection and maybe press d and just reduce a tiny bit the tension so you're just getting the exact shape perfect press j select them press j and just alt x two times and bring them to the other side select them all and join so you have one so you have one nice curve perfect now let's set up the side reference image so now we know the size so this is this one and just scale that and again bring it to the background a little bit Press M, bring it to the front so you can see a little bit from the front so it's transparent. And now just bring this guy so the top edge is touching the top of our curve, right? So something like that. And now, so if we just scale, then we mess it up. But there's a nice trick. So just press S for scale and now here F freestyle. So we have a little bit more control where it scales from. So press F and just snap here to the point. And the second point, okay, it's not perfectly straight that image, but that's fine here. Because now you see you can just scale that from that point on the top below. But you see it's stretching. So just click here, scale uniformly and bam. You see now it's perfectly aligned where we need it. And oh yeah, by the way, now you see here at the bottom my shortcuts. So this is Control D, this is Alt D, so just in case. And yeah, perfect. So now we can start with the circles. And we will create one circle here from the middle. 
which, okay, so you see it's just not a straight image, but that's absolutely fine. We just have to make it a little bit bigger than our curve here. And we go back to the front view and this guy we will bring now here. So maybe scale that a little bit down. So yeah, you see this image is also not straight, but it's fine. And shift D, now we need this second circle here. So we bring it here and now again SS and this one we will make obviously a little bit bigger. So here at the top and the bottom, it's basically the same distance from each other. So we have this result here and don't worry, it doesn't add up. We just need it as a rough reference to understand the shape. And this is fine. And now shift D again and with control click snap it to the middle. So we again need just one half. And now what we have to do is again, just loft those ones here. So select the curves, loft them and now those ones here, if you want. So we could loft those ones here, but you see it's straight, but in the reference image, it's a little bit curved. So we can give it the curvature. So shift A and go from this point to this point. So it's here in the middle. And now shift S for subdividing the curve to give it an extra point and just drag that a tiny, tiny bit out that point. But now we need this curve also here at the bottom, at the left and to the right. So if we loft it, it will be everywhere the same curvature kind of. Or what we can do, what is even easier is if you select this curve, you can sweep it around this circle and you see we get everywhere the same perfect curvature. So this is exactly what we need. And now we can delete all of those curves. We don't need them. And now press four for object mode and join everything. And we have our shape here. And also let's select this curve and just patch it. So we just fill it with a surface and let's hide this curve here. So you see, we have this situation and you see already we have to do some surface modeling because this is um, yeah not exactly what we want. And also here on the uh, side image, you see that here <clears throat> um, that that here it's not the perfect circle anymore, but the circle is is stretching out a little bit and, and touching here to our curve. So this is also exactly what what we want to do now. But this circle here is a circle, and this will also stay the, uh, stay the shape because here you see the bright circle. It just is a nice perfect circle. So that means we have to work just with this face here. And how we do that is we just duplicate again the circle. So yeah, we don't have to delete it. But now we have to cut here this whole surface away because we have to rebuild everything. So just create a line shift A from the center and till somewhere here. So you have to spend a little bit more time to get the exact angle, but this will do fine. And also we need the same angle at the bottom. So Alt X and just bring that over here. Perfect. Select both lines J and now C for cut into the surface. Bam. Right click. And now you can delete this whole surface and you can hide this curve. And what now? So maybe if you have already some surface modeling experience, you can see that. So let me uh, show it to you that what, what we want to do now is we want to connect this curve with the middle of our beautiful G2 curve and the same here. And then, so we want to create the curve, so it should be blue. And then we just want here a nice patch or X nerves depends what you want. And also the same here, we will take this curve and just bring it here to the middle and the same here. So somewhere like here and then also just close it. And then we will create here manual fillet. And this is how we do. So we need an extra edge here in the middle. So just go to the front view and just or create a line shift A and just snap to this point and to this point. And now go to the front view. Now we will take this curve and shift one. So for me, it's the imprint command. So the imprint 
and imprint onto the surface. So you see now we have those two edges on the exact yeah, plane. And now pretty simple, just select those two edges and shift B, this is my command for bridge edge. So shift B and bam and, and bam. Here you see, we don't want any continuity here, but we want it here. So start curvature, this was the first we selected this G2 and the other is G0, but G1 will be fine here in this particular example. And you see it's nicely connected. So let's do the same at the bottom, select this edge and this edge, shift B bridge edge. And again, give it here G1 and G0. And you see we have what we need and the same in the middle. So we can take this edge and just this edge because we will give anyway G0. So it will not go like to the right side. So shift B bridge edge again, G1 and G0. And by the way, guys, if you don't know what is G0, G1 tangency, also below this description, guys, you've always find all the resources that I'm using in the video. And I have a PDF explained all the basics of surface modeling and also all of the shortcuts, which I'm using here, which are super optimized. So below this video, you find it in the description. You can just download that. Yeah. So, okay. And do the same here, select this edge and this edge shift B and G one and G zero. Perfect. And you see, we've set up everything as we want. And now we can start to patch all of those holes and make some nice transitions here. So let's start very simple with this one first. So we just select everything around patch shift three perfectly to reach with the left hand very fast. Okay. And that's it. You see, we have a nice connection here and the surface gets into the rounding of the, of this G2 fillet here. So let's quickly do the same at the bottom patch, give it here G1 and you see everything looks beautiful. Now, very important always when you patch something, just directly press four, join all of the sheets and join just in case you missed something to join or when you loft, you especially have to do that. Yeah. It's just something what I'm always doing. And now we have to connect, close this hole here, but right now we can't because we have edges, which are part of the faces and we have a floating curve here, the blue one, but which goes like till there, right? So we can't patch it. So one, just there are a million options. So we need to break, we have to break down this curve at those points here where the surfaces start. So there are 1000 uh, possibilities, but just very simple, create a line and just snap to that point, snap here somewhere to the middle and go back to this point. And now select both of those curves and alt J. So you unjoin where they are intersecting. So you can now just delete all of those curves here. And you just have this one piece and now you can patch it. If you select everything, select, select, select and bam, patch, give it here G1 and here G1. And that was a mistake. So G0 and guys, you see perfectly connected. So let's have a look how that looks. Isn't that beautiful? Absolutely perfect. And, and now something super important. What, so many beginners are doing always wrong. So what they would do now is, oh, okay, we have to give some fillets here, right? And they just select this edge here and they just give a fillet. And now they think, oh, okay, everything is fine. But no, it isn't. Because if you right click and you show edges, this, <laughs> this is not what, what you want, especially because we want this surface is that this surface is perfectly connected to this rounding here, right? But we have this triangular shape because look, if you check in this mode, you see this does not look good at all. So that's why I'm always preaching. You have to do manual fillets. And in this example, it's very simple. So what you want to do is you just select, you just select all of those edges where you want the fillet. And now you press shift D to duplicate this curve. And now you have to first always rebuild it if you want to pipe it, uh, because otherwise you get extra edges. So just take this curve, 
rebuild it and give it go to points and just give it a lot of points press ok and now you want to just press p and just increase the section size a little bit i don't know just for this tutorial that's fine ok and now you can delete the curve and also you see it's not completely intersecting the surface so you have to it's most of the time you have to select this pipe face at the top and shift click on the bottom and just extrude this a little bit and now comes the magic part so we want to cut from this surface here a section away from this pipe here but only those surfaces we don't want to cut any of this surface so first of all we have to just select this sheet and just alt j to unjoin so we are not touching that because now object mode select this face shift click this pipe and press q for boolean bam now it's red so it's 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 the difference it's it's cutting it away press ok and now press 4 again join back again everything and now what you can do is you can take now so let's start with the back and you select those edges and just bam loft it you can even give yeah g2 if 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 you want and now again press f4 uh, to to join everything and now guys look what we can do so if you press 2 and alt click all these edges and patch so shift 3 we give it here g2 g2 bam here g1 and press ok and now you see guys we have a completely different situation so you see our fillet doesn't have this super ugly triangular shape and like this pinching or i don't know how it's called but it's smoothly connecting everything with this rounding here you see so that's why this technique is the most powerful most people are lazy and they will not achieve anything in their life you know and they're always shortcutting but you just have to do like those a few extra steps but you just get like five times better result if you like that and you want to learn how to do even more interesting things and apply surface modeling to yeah, professional grade product modeling here with absolute beautiful surface transitions all over as you see and yeah here at the top obviously we did the same so check out first link in the description everything is explained it's an amazing course if you have a little bit of surface modeling experience and you like my teaching style and you just want to master plasticity then yeah i can recommend it to you check it out leave a like and subscribe for this video so you don't miss the other one and i hope you enjoyed it see you in the next one bye